High hopes in the Mexican capital as delegates from the Venezuelan government and opposition meet at the negotiating table for the first time in more than a year. We are very pleased to return to this noble Mexican land of sisters and brothers in solidarity with the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. The latest round of negotiations resulted in a signed agreement which seeks to resolve the crisis in Venezuela through free and fair elections and to ease crippling economic sanctions on the country. What we need to guarantee is that in the next stage, which begins today, we are able to acquire the necessary political conditions to produce a democratic alternative for our country. In response, the United States also announced that part of the agreement will include limited term licenses for Chevron to resume oil extraction operations in Venezuela, a move that's seen as strategically important for the West as tightening sanctions on Russia have caused uncertainty over international oil prices. This latest round of negotiations between the Venezuelan government and opposition here in Mexico are being seen as a significant step forward in finding a lasting solution to the ongoing crisis in Venezuela. Some 7 million people have fled Venezuela since the start of the crisis. Experts say the newly struck deal could help bring the worsening migrant crisis to an end. This will surely put the brakes on migration. Also, the freeing of assets that have been sequestered by the United States will allow for a return of migrants, or at the very least, slow their exit from Venezuela. Another important point of the agreement signed between the Venezuelan government and opposition is the formation of an international fund to be administered by the United Nations aimed at providing desperately needed humanitarian aid to the people of Venezuela. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.